The year is 1496. Picture a Spanish merchant ship named the Calibra, anchored off the southeastern shores of Mexico. The first of eight ships presumed lost at sea. Aboard are 200 exiled souls from the Reconquista, shackled and lost, Jews, Muslims, and the last of the Amazade Black Moors from Sudan. Their fates intertwined by chains of cruelty and the vast, unforgiving sea. The captain, desperate to find his way back to Columbus, spots the Tamaulipas natives on the beach and decides to communicate. He summons Ayodel from his guarded quarters to consult, but ignores the Moor's advice. He instead gathers a cadre of his loyal men and boards a small ship, unaware that this decision will be his last mistake. Salt comes from the north, gold from the south, and silver from the white men, but the word of God and treasures of wisdom can only be found in Timbuktu. These words echoed in the mind of Prince Ayodil, scholar, warrior, governor of Granada, and once captain of the guard of the great city of Timbuktu. A man of honor and wisdom, betrayed by those he trusted, enslaved by those who feared him, and now marooned in a land as foreign to him as the crowded Christian cities of Europe. Ayodel, a natural leader and sole remaining noble aboard, now faces an unimaginable dilemma. Should he lead his fellow captives and the surviving crew members towards a safe port, risking their continued enslavement? Or should he seize the opportunity to pursue freedom above all else, risking everything for the chance to break the chains that bind them? He orders that all captives be set free. His wife, Lady Emiliana, a Cordoban Jewish noble, joins him on deck. They gaze upon what will be known as Garb al-Andalus's. The lost voyage of the Caliber is a tale of resilience, courage, and the indomitable human spirit. Crafted by the imaginative pen of novelist James Lee Nathan III, this speculative fiction work is part of an anthology of tales presented for Black History Month 2025. It is a story that reminds us of the struggles and triumphs of those who came before us, a narrative woven with the threads of history and the fabric of dreams that reminds us of how ethnicity and religion can strip us of our status and wealth, but never our spirit. Thank you for joining me on this journey through time, as we honour and remember the voices that have shaped our past and continue to inspire our future.